is a video on installing the Fishman AG series passive under saddle pickup into a Gibson J45 acoustic guitar. Now with the AG series <coughs> I purchased the uh, Pro AG 1-125. <coughs> the guy that sold it to me said uh, you can bring it back and swap it for a a smaller one if you need to but what I found with my J45 was that this pickup fit in just fine you can see it down in the hole here hopefully you see the blue fits perfectly perfectly in the hole in this hole you have a uh, a hole pre-cut to put your wire through and your J45 is probably going to have the same size cut as mine does and the hole already pre-drilled. Some of them I've heard the hole doesn't go all the way through the top, but mine did. Anyway, if it doesn't, you can take a very, very small drill bit and make it a hole. And your bridge may be cut a little bit of a different size. I've heard some of them are cut differently. And if that be the case, when you purchase your AG Series Fishman, ask them if you can return it if this turns out to be too small. But for mine, the uh, 125 fits perfect. Just You couldn't ask for a better fit than that. And, uh, and you want a tight fit with it from what I'm gathering. I've heard people say you want it loose, but it looks to me like... It, what you mainly want is the bridge to be able to press down well on uh, on the pickup. You don't want any bumps in or anything like that, so make sure it's clean in there. And we're going to want to take some sandpaper and uh, and get some of this uh, all about the width of the. Uh, pickup itself taking off the bottom of the in doing that you just want to make sure you're even on on sanding off your your bridge so it's straight all the way across but we'll take a little bit off that fishman says there's a 50 50 rule 50 percent of the bridge ought to stick above and 50 percent below uh, anyway i'm going to take off just about the width of the uh, pickup pick up itself there so it'll be just like it was when I started As you can see I've taken my strings off I drilled the hole here, but I want to show you how I went about doing this so you don't mess your guitar up if you're doing this same process. You're going to see a little screw set behind the screw that holds your strap button on. Take the strap button off. And then what you're going to want to do is remount, make your little pilot hole with a small drill bit. Don't matter really what size it is, because you're going to be wanting to get to a half inch size with it. This is the insert that you drill through that uh, that your uh, strap button screws into. Now that's a fancy piece right there, is it not? Could be used in a fancy Gibson guitar or to hang a picture. Anyway, you drill through that and get all the pieces out of the inside of your guitar. After you drill you a little pilot hole in there, then you're going to want probably your best bet's one of these because this is really bad about chipping out around in this area right here if you just use a regular drill bit. What you'd want to do is Next, after drilling a little pilot hole, then go through that, let this follow the pilot hole, go in through that, and this is one half inch at its widest portion. Don't go in too far and get your drill uh, head against it, but that's going to put you a clean 
end in this hole. And it's going to be fluted, you know, on back in there. Go in behind that hole with just a regular half inch bit like this. That way you've already got the outer edge here cut clean and you're just going to go in and wallow out the uh, rest of the hole. The thing you're mostly concerned about though is keeping this nice and clean out here, this cut. Um, cut all the way your piece you're going to be putting in is uh, obviously this. You found it in your package. What I'd like to do is kind of insert it backward and look through the hole. At least with the J45 you have a a little hole in the top of it you can look through that uh, will allow you to see how far this is sticking out. You want it to st you want this portion, the smaller portion to uh, stick out. It allows you some adjustment that you can make uh, as you go. But that there is what you're after. This is backward obviously. It's going to come from the inside and poke out. Okay, when you solder this thing, you're gonna you can bend this back a little bit. Be real careful with it because I bet after two bends it'll probably break. But you're gonna solder your wire with the insulation onto the very shortest pole in here, and then the non-insulated wire from the pickup you will solder to the shield this piece right here so you got the shortest very shortest looks counterintuitive but it is the very shortest and there's what's going to get your going to get your um, coated wire then the non-coated wire is going to solder to this before you go to soldering anything though make sure that you put this piece on your wire before you start that's the part that I generally forget on anything I'm working on so we've got to put that on there first remember now shortest shortest prong sticking out down in hidden down in here is going to get your insulated wire. When you're soldering with this stuff, if you've got any kind of a uh, rabbit ear spring that you can put back behind, it'll keep you from melting your plastic too far back. Seems to work well anyway. Okay, let's start off with putting this screw to measure the inside of our guitar by going to the top of the nut and to the bottom of the shaft here. Okay, I'm estimating one inch from the tip to where I'm going to put the nut at. To go back through this that measures the width of your wood to go through we'll try one inch and I'll let you know later in the video if it works that'll be where you would place your nut at and you might take an ink pen or I mean a magic marker and, and mark where the screws at because it does move around a little bit to pull this thing through I'm going to be using some wire just like you can get at your uh, I guess craft section at Walmart or something like that I'm just going to go through these two oops go through these two holes or actually yeah I'll go through both of them I pull evenly just come back around to the front you don't want to tie it tie it just a little bit of a wrap on it we'll be out of your way and because 
Yeah, you see what I did? I forgot to stick it through the hole before I before I tied it. Okay, so I measured one inch, and then I put my washers onto the thing past the nut. That's one inch from there to the end of your cylinder. I've run this wire through the hole, and I'm going to pull it through, holding against this to level level it out as it goes through. It's a good thing to do because you will fish those little washers out of there a blue million times messing with this. Now, slowly and carefully take this off without letting it drop back in there. You can. You're going to want to use the wire again to be able to kind of hold it there so you don't drop stuff down in there. Okay, now where did my washer go? Here they are. Actually, I found a pair of scissors to work better for holding this out here to get it started. And I've tried quite a few different methods on it. So, there we go. Once you get it started, use a nail through the little hole in it to tighten it. Hold it steady while you tighten it on down. Hopefully this is going to line up just about right. And if it don't, and somebody asks why mine sticks out a little further, or, and maybe it should, I'll tell them that's for added sustain on the guitar, which will be a big lie. <laughs> but I don't, I've started messing with it anyway. Okay, this screws on here like this. It looks pretty professional, just about right. So remember that one inch number for putting your nut on to begin with, then put your washer on in front of it. I believe that was one inch. Uh, if you don't do that, you're going to fish your nuts out of this thing about ten different times. So, you've still got to uh, sand down your... Remember, take off just about the width of the pickup itself, probably a little less because that pickup's going to be compressed just a little. And uh, string it back up and it should be good to go.